Hi, welcome to the Boulder Bookstore YouTube channel 2021. Uh, my name is Liesl Freudenstein and I am the children's buyer here at the Boulder Bookstore. Um, today I wanted to talk about my favorite books, some old, some new, for four to six year olds. Um, so I want to begin with the important book. This has by uh, Margaret Weiss Brown. She did uh, Good Night Moon. Um, it has been out for a while. In fact, this is the 50th anniversary edition, um, so it is quite old. It is a beautiful, lovely little book um, filled with delightful little poems about random things. But um, at the end, it says, you know, the important thing about a shoe is that you put your foot in it. And it does end, it all ties together, um, because the important thing about you is that you are you. Um, you are a child, and you will grow, and you will become you. But the important thing about you is you. So that's a delightful old gem. A little more contemporary version of this is um, All Because You Matter by Tammy Charles. Uh, it is, again, a lovely poem and ode to individuality and your importance in the universe. You matter to people. You matter to um, your parents, your friends, your family. You may occasionally question that, and it may not seem um, important at the time, um, but ultimately you do matter very much. Uh, I was really impressed with um, not just the sentiment. Um, Tammy Charles does say in the back that she did write it um, in order to ha talk about race and have the big talk with her child. This is her child. He's in every picture. It's really cool. Um, but it is ultimately also just a book like the important book about being yourself and ha you having value with everyone else. I was super impressed on Brian Collier's art. I saw a presentation, a Zoom presentation with him, and he actually works in like really big scale. So he had these giant pictures behind him, and it's all collage and watercolors. It's really fascinating. It's, there's a lot going on in each one of these little pictures. Um, really worth a good study and a good look at. So my next two are kind of more on the absurd angle, um, you know, four to six year olds sort of liking tall tales and, um, you know, flights of imagination and things. Uh, this is The Giant Jam Sandwich by John Vernon Lord. It actually came out in 1972, which is about when I was four, um, and it is about a town being plagued by wasps, big wasps too. So they decide, of course, as you do, to make a huge jam sandwich in order to trap all the wasps in it. Um, it's just, why not? <laughs> um, the art is super, super, super 1970s. Um, I actually have a picture of myself reading this book, and I'm wearing um, plaid pants and a striped shirt, bell bottoms, of course, and I think they were inspired by the art in this book. It is super fun. Another absurd and delightful book is When Dinosaurs Came with Everything by Elise Broach. Um, this is one of my favorite books to read to my kids, even though they didn't necessarily like dinosaurs all that much. Uh, but they didn't like running errands with me. And the premise of this book is the little boy has to go on the errands with his mom. They go to the haircut, they get the, go to the doctor. And you know, usually with uh, those types of errands, the kid gets a little treat of some sort. Well, instead of balloons, stickers, etc., it is actually real live big, huge dinosaurs. And David Small's art on this, like, so captures the amazement and delight that the little boy is like, and the horror on the mom's face as well. And he's just like, yes, dinosaurs! And she's like, oh no! But she does come around at the end and they've collected all the dinosaurs. It's, it's really fun. I like that one very much. Um, slightly longer stories. Um, this one is amazing. This is Armstrong. It tells the story of Armstrong, this little mouse, and his quest to go to the moon. Um, he does all the research, all the experiments, all the thinking and the brainstorming in order to get himself to the moon and back. Um, the art is just mesmerizing. You can actually get a most of the story through just the art, although the narrative is also worth reading. Um, it's a little longer, but it's not too long for a four to six year old for patience. Um, I think the best part is realizing that the humans are sort of following along and tracking his research in order to get themselves to the moon. So when they actually arrive to the moon, they find the little mouse flag, because obviously the mouse has been there first. 
There is also a uh, short history of the space race in the back, so if your kiddo is interested in astronomy, space, and astronauts, this would be a really great kind of beginning read to that. And it's worthwhile just having it on the shelf. I just, I have like two copies and I give one away and then I buy another one for later. Um, another sort of longer novel-y things that I really, really liked um, is Toys Go Out. Um, this is by Emily Jenkins. This has also older, um, although not that old. Anyway, it just really, really um, reminded me of sort of the way that a four or six year old, four to six years old might think about things. Um, the characters have a lot of some anxiety and self assuredness like Stingray is stuffed, stuffed Stingray. And she speaks with absolute authority on everything, even though she doesn't really actually know anything. But she says things like, I know. And that just reminded me of when my kids were like absolutely positively sure about something. I know that when you go and do this, this happens, you know. Uh, Lumpy is a buffalo, and he's on the tad on the anxious side. Um, you know, he's a little trepidatious about new things, um, big events, and he gets covered in peanut butter one day and has to go to the washing machine, and that's super scary to him. He's like, but peanut butter is clean. I don't see why I need to be cleaned. Peanut butter is clean. I'm clean. Therefore, no cleaning. And um, plastic has a slight identity crisis because she is actually made out of rubber and doesn't quite understand why she's called plastic, uh, but she does learn the difference between a name and a label in the book. I think that the chapters kind of say it all, if I could read some of the titles to you. It says, the first chapter is, in the backpack where it is very dark, the serious problem of plasticness, the terrifying bigness of the washing machine, and a possible shark. Um, they're sort of vignette so you can read one sort of short story uh, every night, or you could read them all together because they do tie up together. Really fun. I still think about this book a lot. I might actually go read this book for lunch again. It was really great. Um, a newer one that is sort of similar to Toys Go Out and it reminded me of the way four and six year olds just sort of are and the way they view the world is uh, Skunk and Badger by Amy Timberlake. Um, Skunk has been invited by Aunt Lulu to move in with Badger in the brownstone. Badger is slightly unaware of this because he hasn't been paying attention to the letters that Aunt Lulu sent. So one day, there's a skunk on his front porch. So of course, he quickly shuts the door and pretends that he's not there <laughs> because, <laughs> and Skunk is just slightly devastated. He's like, no, no, really, I, I get to live with you. And, but Badger's like, I don't want to live with a skunk because skunks, um, so it deals with a little bit with some prejudice <laughs> and acceptance as well. Uh, Badger has very important rock work to do and doesn't want to get disturbed by it, which reminds me of when my son used to play with trains all the time. And he's like, no, I can't be bothered. I have very important train work to do. Um, so Badger has very important rock work to do. But he does ultimately learn to live with Skunk and they become great friends. It's a bit of an odd couple story and it's just really super, super cute. And uh, John Clausen did the art, and he does um, I Want My Hat Back, which is another favorite of mine, but I don't have time to talk about that one. So thank you very much for tuning in to our YouTube channel in this new year. I hope uh, you find some cute books and fun books to read, some old, some new. And if you like this channel, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.